Hello, my most amazing artist. So today we're going to be making a popcorn picture. We're going to be doing some weaving and some paper curling to create our project. So first thing you want to do is get yourself a half sheet of red construction paper. And mine is, I believe, six inches by nine inches. And you want to fold that in half. And very, very important, you want to make sure that when you fold it in half, the top is where it opens and the bottom is where the fold is. So then taking your pencil, about an inch from the top, you want to draw a line. That's going to be where we stop when we're cutting. And then down here, if you want to make some little hash marks, um, and that's just going to be where we cut for our lines. So taking my scissors, I'm going to cut and stop once I get to that line I drew. So cut, stop, cut, stop, cut, stop, cut, stop. Now I'm going to open that up and I have all of these lovely little lines. Then I have some strips of white paper um, these are about an inch wide and nine inches long and when you weave it's a pattern and technically um, I like to call, tell the kids we're making a checkerboard so I'm gonna start my first strip I'm gonna go over and then I'm gonna go under over under over under and then I'm gonna pull that strip all the way to the top now, when you get ready to do the next one, you want to do the opposite of the strip above it. So if this strip started over, I want to go under first. See how they're opposite? And then over, under, over, under, over. And I want to move that all the way up to the top so they're nice close together so we get that start of our checkerboard. And then keep weaving your strips all the way down until you have no room, making sure that you are doing the opposite so you're creating this nice checkerboard pattern. I can fit one more in there. Okay, make sure I move all of them up so they're nice straight across. And then um, you want to take a glue stick and the little um, tabs on the side. You want to glue those down. I'm going to glue these little tabs down so then that way your strips stay put. So I do it to that side then I flip it around and I do it to this side. Ah! Come back little strip. And then I'm going to turn it over and do the same thing on this side. And after I'm done with that, um, Looking where my line is here, I want to cut, that's gonna be the top of my bag. So I'm going to cut a zigzag, kind of cut out like triangles. Um, and that's gonna become the top of our popcorn bag. Like that. And I just have some blue paper. That's gonna be my background. So let me grab 
my glue stick. Um, and I'm gluing, putting glue on the side that has the line, so then that way I don't see it. Put that right there. And then I have black paper. I'm going to cut an oval shape from my black paper. And I'm going to use a white crayon to write the word popcorn. Then I can glue that onto my bag. Okay, now the fun part. <laughs> so I have all of these little yellow strips and what you wanna do is roll them, uh, kind of curl them up and this can be a hard process. Some of the students, they were using their pencil, kind of rolling them around the pencil. Um, I've just been using my fingers and going like, rolling them this way through my fingers. Uh, to put the little popcorn spirals down, you will want to use liquid glue. So what you do is just put a little bit of liquid glue there. And then if your spiral unravels, that's good because it may, makes it a little bit bigger. And then just hold it down for about 10 seconds um, so that way it doesn't keep unraveling. And then you can let it go. And just keep making those spiral popcorns. You can make however many spiral popcorns you want. Again, I'm just rolling it. Once it gets going, it's pretty easy. Sometimes it's kind of hard to start it. And put some glue down. Maybe. <laughs> the glue always wants to give me problems. And then we'll let it unravel a little bit. And then we'll hold it once we have it. So um, I'm going to keep making some more popcorns for my picture and hope you had fun. Bye.